Today we are going to learn about HL72 PDF versions. There are a lot of techniques where we can use in conversion of HL72 PDF and math, but I'll show you the easiest way and a simple way. So let's start the session. So we'll go to math integration engine. It's 4.3.0 version. I'll go ahead and click on a new channel and name it as HL72 PDF easy method. And here I'll add a tag known as tutorials and I'll click enter. You can type your own tag. It uh, It's not mandatory. I'll save this thing over here. And you'll understand why I added this tag. I'll go back to channels. So I want to remove everything from here. I want to filter it out. So this is the method which I use. I press T. So I'll select tutorials and I'll click enter. Perfect. So we don't have any issues over in the dashboard or channels. Everything is clean and neat. In the dashboard, I'll clear everything. I'll just drag this down to make it uh, easy for everyone. We'll start with the creation of HL7 to PDF. I'll go ahead and click. And in the data types, I don't want to change anything over here because we are sending an HL7 message. And in the output, we don't have anything like a PDF or something over here. So I'm not converting anything. So even I'm not changing in the destination part, so it looks good. And I'll make it as easy as possible. As I said, I'll go to destination. In the edit transformer, I'll click add new step. I'll click on JavaScript. And I can name anything like HL7 to PDF. Easy, you can name anything you want. So I just made a sample code and placed it in the GitHub. So you can come to this particular link. I will drop it in the YouTube channel description and you can copy it. So I made it easy even to work it out. So you can play with this particular code. I will copy it over here. So that's it. This small code will change everything. Will change a HL7 message to a PDF. Even I am not giving anything over here in the template section. It's very clean and neat. Now let's see how, how this works. So I'll just go back. So I, I'll explain uh, this code. So we are creating few variables like the patient name, patient age, diagnosis, and everything. And we are trying to create an HTML content. You might be asking, how can HTML content be, will be so long in a single line? HTML content is a different pattern. So for that purpose, we need to add more plugins and uh, more add-ons to merge code, which will more packages. Yeah, adding more packages, which will create uh, things messy so generally uh, mirth will not work uh, with lot of HTML content directly in the horizontal way so yeah vertical way I always kept it as uh, in this way so it's very easy you don't need to get confused I went to Google Chrome and the W3 schools I learned it in like uh, 30 to 40 minutes I understand what is tags how we can create very basic styles and everything and I created this particular HTML tag. Even you can play around and you'll be able to understand uh, how to create HTML content or you can use the same template. So our main motto is making it as easy as possible. In the channel map dot put. So you might be already uh, listening my uh, tutorials previously. So this will uh, help to create a PDF content variable. And this variable generally what it does is like when you go back to channel and save it you can see uh, there is something known as a variable which is reflecting. We can use it uh, outside the channel. You can name it anything. You can name it something like PDF content 1. That's not a problem. When you go back, again this will change to PDF content 1. Now let's work on the destination part. As I want in the PDF, so I'm going to write in any particular database. So yep, I'll create a file writer over here to make it easy for everyone. So in the directory section, I have already a small uh, directory section in my desktop, which I'll use. I'll just copy it and I'm going to paste it over here. And even I want to test it away. Yep, it is successfully connected to this particular folder in my desktop. There is no nothing over here, just like a small folder, no code or nothing. I'm just pasting it successfully. So you need to always test it sometimes when you don't have permission to your directory or you're working in office laptop or whether it's a shared folder, this will not work and you won't get a PDF output. Okay, you can click OK in the file name part, but you can 
name it as your wish so i can i can name it with the channel id or channel name so i'll just drag and drop the channel name channel name is nothing but the channel name which we have given so it will come output as hl7 to pdf easy method perfect and in the template everything we are creating in the pdf content variable we need to drag it and drop so everything will be saved over here right it looks good right perfect we'll save it and we'll deploy this and we'll make sure over here we have uh, already the previous report with a different name we'll go back and we'll send a message <coughs> So sending a message, even I made it easy. I created a sample message over here. You can remove this extra tags from here. And even I pasted it over here in the HL7 soup. Too easy to understand. I'll just copy this. You can copy it from the Mirth GitHub channel. Not a problem. So everything is zero over here. I'll just send a message. And I'll process it. I'll refresh it we got a successful error now we are going to look why this is being errored out errors are always fun so we'll go to destination and we'll check I'm happy that we got an error which will help us to understand the code much better so in the line number 480 it says race is not defined so there is something known as race in this particular HTML tag which is not defined I gave it intentionally so we'll learn something much better so I'll go to notepad I already copied and pasted the code over here. I'll do Control F and I will type race and do a count. So there's one matching count. And if I do find next, you can see uh, I have defined race in HTML, but I haven't mapped it to anything or like I didn't mention anything. If you go back to code, I'll click on Diagnose and I'll do Control F. I'll do count. You can see there are four matches means uh, there is a variable over here and I have used in the HTML means whatever variable you are creating over here you need to use in the HTML tag where it should replicate if I am using something else in my HTML tag and it's not there over here it will give an error so you need to make sure your code works better what will I do I'll change uh, and tweak the code a uh, little bit to make sure that race is defined perfectly and we'll be working on how things will change now so again I just changed my uh, code I defined the race over here to make sure things work fine and I'll commit the changes so I'm just going fast over here I'll copy this new code and I'll paste it in my channel HL7 to PDF destination edit transformer that's it I just added one extra variable because it was not defined I'll go back I'll save this I'll deploy this I'll go back to dashboard and I'll copy the message from HL7 soup it looks good yep I'm going to send it over here let's see if we are still getting errors we shouldn't because we defined everything perfect you can see received and one has been sent one has been added out before and now the recent one means in our folder it should have been already reflecting perfect now you must say what is an issue with this pattern so we haven't uh, defined it should be in dot pdf for whatever it is so we need to even mention this so each and every step is important over here if you are working on any channel if I go to destination here I just gave it as file name dot channel name but I haven't given any extension so I want to be in PDF I'll just give it as PDF looks good right you want to give anything else you can go ahead and give it because uh, we haven't uh, mentioning anything anywhere in the transformer that it should be a PDF nor in not in this part you have a PDF option you are just tagging it to that particular data and this code is creating the HTML content for the PDF so Mud doesn't know actually it is a PDF we are making it as a PDF so yep I'll just click on this perfect I'll save it I'll deploy the channel now I'm going to send the message once again and I'll process this refresh yep 
the second one has been sent now we'll see perfect you can see the difference between the older one and the newer one which is dot pdf now we'll open it when we open it voila we can't open this file okay see now this is very very good still we are facing some issues and we can try to resolve it from here now you can see we cannot open this file means still there is an issue in our uh, channel and we have done a small mistake i'll go back to channels and i'll let you know where is the mistake in the destination we gave it as a file writer but the code which we made uh, <coughs> it is something relevant to for document writer so i'll go back i'll change this to document writer that will create a document in the same directory i'll just copy this I'll give the same directory and test it. We are able to successfully connect and in the file name I'll give it as a channel name dot PDF. That works. And even the document type I select it as a PDF. I'll drag this PDF content and drop it over here. You might be thinking I have given one previously, but not. As we change the code, I just change it to PDF content to look it neat and clean. Now I'll save it now i'll deploy this looks good right you can just uh, give a look over here for the new changes in the document writer and i gave it as an output as a file not an attachment or both i'll just click yes now again we are going to send this looks uh, like a lot of steps but it is very simple i'm making it uh, complicated to understand different types of error we get i'll just paste it i'll process this perfect we got three means we should have something over here I'll refresh it and I, ha I have already given the same name so this would be the new file which overridden the pre past file I am just opening it that's good the PDF has been created you can see uh, Rohit HL7 to Mert Tutorials patient report this is the HTML tag which I created header and titles so you can create uh, it easily with uh, your names indicating in the code and in the patient information uh, it's like a, a basic name so such an I, I love such and so I gave it as such an age and gender as God of cricket so you can add more field not only diagnosis additional details whatever the custom fields required by the receiving hospital you can add it now to make it a little bit more interesting so I don't want this gender as god of cricket i want race as god of cricket okay we have race in the hl7 right so if i go back to hl7 soup here uh when i click on the spit segment so pit phi is nothing but the name and in the pit a gender i gave it as a god of cricket what i'll do i'll just remove this and i'll keep it over here so if we send this message will that give us an output as race as god of cricket no because even we need to change the code if i go here if i go to destinations transformer so race has been tagged to this particular 8.8.1 .8 field so that that uh, doesn't make any sense so what i want to do if i go back here here race is nothing but in pit 10 so even i want to change this particular one to pit 10 so it will pick up from pit 10 and place it over there we were sending before in pit 8.1 okay now let's see again we are lagging on something the thing is like yep we'll try to execute this and we'll see how things are reflecting so these changes are made to make sure you understand that PC code how it works again I'll copy this message I'll just send it over here process it refresh for and I'm going to my path I'm just opening the newest version see we haven't there are no changes here except uh, I, g I gave it as God of Cricket intentionally I changed it to capital so that's the only difference the gender hasn't been changed means even in the HTML tag we need to change it to gender 
uh, how it should get reflected now uh, you don't need to get uh, confused like uh, where should I change what are the details should I change it, it it's pretty much easy if I go to destination edit transformer I'll just copy this complete code I open notepad plus plus or anything I'll paste it over here so in the PDF it says gender right I'll copy this I'll do a control F and I'll search where is the gender count one match find next so go to the HTML content I want to give it as race that's it the code works without any issues I'll copy this I'll go back to my math code I'll paste it over here so you don't need to analyze each and every field dragging and dropping it so notepad plus plus is something pretty much easy and even in PyCharm there are a lot of options there are a lot of like even an anaconda a lot of tools but yeah as we are using mirth we might not get a lot of options in the free version so this is one technique I'll go back I'll save changes I'll deploy this and this is the final message which we are going to send I'll go back to soup so here I gave I did a small mistake I gave it as a god of cricket hope this works I gave it a small smiley perfect so soup is uh, very good if we do changes over here automatically it will reflect in the message I'll just copy this and uh, send it over here we have a count of four I'll process it refresh perfect count of five so again this has been overridden I'll just open this amazing the race is god of cricket even the emoji we got it if you see this was unable to open because uh, we are giving it as a file writer now we change the document writer we are to open open it here uh, it says gender as a code of cricket I did small changes to the code and I made it to pit 10 but still I haven't mapped it to I haven't changed the HTML tag here so it didn't reflect it so now I change the HTML tag and we can see race as a god of cricket so this session explain how we can change not only the field HL7 details even the HTML tags over here in the PDF we can add an extra border over here you can change whatever changes you need to do that is completely based on the HTML tags which you are giving and it's very interesting if you're trying to work on HL7 to PDF version in future we will also work on XML to PDF JSON to PDF and everything so yep uh, I'll even paste the latest code here to make sure uh, you are using the more clarified one uh, without any issues so it would be easy for you I'll just copy this and paste it over here if you want to try a lot of scenarios you can uh, keep on trying it that would uh, really help you guys in understanding how you can create I'll just commit directly yep this is how you need to convert HL7 to PDF and this is a very basic uh, version of creating HL7 to PDF you can add a lot of details as required thank you hope you enjoyed this session it took a lot of effort for me to make it simple for you guys thank you